Okay, so in the last video, we have talked about rest parameters, right? So basically, whenever you have multiple values and if, if you want to pass those values in a function as an array, we use rest parameters, right? But what if you have reverse? What if you have an array to pass, but then the function is not accepting an array, it is accepting values. Okay, so what I'm saying is, if you see this example, which we have done for the rest, we can just change it. So what I will do here is let me just change everything here just to keep it simple. And let's say this particular function accepts five values. Okay. And then, uh, in fact, you can pass the values and then that was a bit clumsy. But let me just do this this way. So let's say we have this addition of all the values, right? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I want to pass these values, which I'm passing here as the value itself. And let's try if this works and that completely works, right? because we are accepting those five values. What I will do now is what if I have these values, which is all these passing values in an array. So I will say let nums is equal to, let me create an array by saying four comma three comma six comma two comma five. And then I want to pass the array here. So basically I don't want to pass the values. I want to pass an array. So my question to everyone, okay? So if you know the answer, in fact, Try this, pause the video, and in the comment section, let me know, will this work? Okay, will we get any compile time errors or not? Okay, so I hope you have answered. Let's try, let's try it on this code. And you can see we got an error. First of all, it is giving all the values here as an array itself. You can see this is an array, and then it says undefined, 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 undefined. So basically it's not working. The reason it's not working is because you are passing an array and then here we are accepting individual values. So in this case, what you need to do is you have to use a split operator. So the same operator which we are using in the rest is same here. The only thing difference is when you are passing three dots, it means the array will be spread. It, it will get spread and it will create values, normal values. And now let's try and you can see we got the value. So basically, whenever you have a function which accepts individual values or variables and you have an array to pass, you can use a split operator to do that. Okay, I, I know that was a pretty simple and short video. That's it from this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.